Good afternoon, Facebook viewers. My name is Tom Lowy. I'm a reporter and columnist from the Galesburg Register Mail, and I'm happy to be sitting on this Tuesday afternoon with Will Hayes. How are you, Will? Stupendous. We're going to talk about Lie Heap, and, and we've already been kind of talked and told people about Lie Heap, but we're going to hit on some important dates and some important information. So first, let's get to the lead of our story, and that is, is that how long do people have to apply for LIHEAP and why is it important for them to know that you guys are still in well, the process of signing people up? We've heard some rumors that there's concerns that we may be running out of money and that is not at all true. Right. Uh, we have plenty of funding this year. Uh, as with uh, almost every year, there's plenty of funding. Right. Um, and applicants can actually be submitted all the way up to May 31st. Which I didn't know. I didn't know it was that late. Yes. Okay. Um, now we encourage people, don't wait. Uh, we know disconnection notes are going to be coming out. Right. We want to see individuals get in as soon as possible, take advantage of their funds, and get them as quickly as possible. It does take us a little bit of time to process everything through, so the sooner you get in, the better off you're going to be to get your right. funds quickly. I know when I first moved to the area and I was struggling, one of the things I would do is I would wait during the winter because you know you can't be shut off, and then I'd kind of play catch up on it. A lot of people get in that situation, then they can't get out, and this lie heap will help people prevent disconnection, correct? Correct. Uh, with knowing that the disconnection notes are start, going to start going out, uh, if you get in here, get an appointment with us, it will help pay your bill down, get you a little time to hopefully uh, start making your own payments and get things taken care of. Right. So May 31st, and there are funds available. Let's For people who don't know, let's talk a little bit about what LIHEAP is. So LIHEAP is basic is, uh, energy assistance, and that's really kind of the term we like to use for it. Um, a lot of people don't know what light heap is, but they do know what energy assistance means. Right. So it's helping individuals with their power bill uh, for heating purposes. Right. So that's the other big thing that we have people who don't understand. It doesn't matter if it is Ameren, you're on a propane company, a right. fuel oil, um, you're all electric through one of the other small electric company. Right. Any one of those, as long as you reside in Knox County, you can apply and get funding and service help through us as long as you meet the income requirements. Okay, and for people who want to apply, how should they go about doing that? Uh, call the health department here at 309-344-2224, ask for LIHEAP or energy assistance, and get an appointment set, or walk in and set an appointment. Okay, and what kind of information should people bring with them? Well, I guess the first thing I want to tell everybody is don't wait to the last minute to come in and apply. Right. If you know you're going to be getting a disconnect or you have a disconnect, don't wait to two days before your power is going to be shut off to try to get in and get an appointment. We do get busy at times, so the sooner people get themselves scheduled, the sooner they're going to get in and get someone to get seen. Uh, what they need to bring with them is Social Security cards for everyone in the house, their most current gas and or electric bills or propane or whatever right. it is. Right, right. Um, income from the last 30 days for everyone in the house with income. Uh, if you have food stamps, SNAP program, you need to bring just proof of that. And then if you have any other income, such as TANF, child support, any of those types of things, you need to make sure you bring that. And it's the past right. 30 days worth. Okay. And that's by May 31st, but you're encouraging people, start the process now, don't rush yeah. at the end. So we'd encourage you, gather your information, get an appointment set, get in as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, it's not a concern of running out of money. It's a concern of honestly being able to see everybody. Right. Uh, we only have a limited number of appointments a day. We want to make sure that we can get everybody possible through. If you're waiting till May 15th to call to try to get an appointment, we could be booked up. Right. So about 1,500 enrolled so far this year. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, right around that. Uh, this is maybe a little higher now. That was, I think right. I checked last week. But sure. yeah. So we're very happy with those numbers. We'd really love to see the numbers be a lot higher. Uh, when we initially applied for this grant, one of the big things was they talked about we could potentially do upwards of 4,000 people. Because so, that many people, they feel qualify in, in some way. They look at uh, income guidelines right. and poverty levels in the county, and that's what they go by. Right. So, yeah, they feel that there's upwards of that many who could qualify. So, um, being that we've not even seen quite 50% of what they say are the potential qualifications, People who would qualify, can't talk here, sorry. That's right. um, we have plenty of funds left. We really want to get this money out to individuals. Um, our goal is to help as many people as possible, and we need the people coming in the doors to be able to do that. Folks, if you're just joining us, Facebook viewers, my name is Tom Lowy, and we are joined by Will Hayes. He is the Associate Administrator, Assistant, assistant Administrator, sorry, uh, Assistant Administrator here at the Knox County Health Department. A long time ago, you were here, well, not that long ago, but you were here, you were the head of the um, 
inspection. Uh, environmental health. Yeah. Environmental health. I actually Thanks. started my public health career here um, back as a sanitarian or an inspector many, many, many years ago. And I uh, left for a little while, and now I'm back at this level. Right, exactly. So it's it's always great to see you. But we're talking about lie heap today, and people associate it with cold weather and warm weather. I think people start to assume that the program's out or the money's out or whatever. And so we're here talking about the deadline, which tell our viewers one more time. May thirty first is, is our deadline, but don't like I said, don't wait to the last minute. It's not about running out of money. It's about making sure we can see everybody. Right. Um, we want to have every day full of appointments. The more individuals we see, the more individuals we can get income, um, get those payments out to, and the more uh, we can help in our county. That's really what the goal is, is about helping. Will Hayes, thank you very much. If anyone has questions on LIHEAP, you can call 309-344-2224 and ask for energy assistance or ask for LIHEAP. You don't have to know all the exact terminology, just uh, describe what you need, and they will be glad to help you set up an appointment. Will. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Tom. See you in a couple weeks? Yes. All right. All right. Facebook viewers, thank you for joining me this afternoon. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.